previously. Greg, what are you doing here? You said to come round today. But not now. We're, we're just going. He's gonna spend Christmas round there. She promised. Promises don't mean nothing. I told you. You can't trust them kind of people. We can always go around to Sylvie's house. Just because she's away, don't mean we can't have some fun. What are you doing? I didn't bring you here to nick stuff. No. You brought us here to get even. What are you doing in my house? Oh! You want my boys home, Cassette? Thanks. There's other patients needing this bed, so if you don't get a move on, this lot will be going in the bin. All right. Here, you don't get many visitors, do you? Well, these will cheer you up. Well, beauty starts in the soul. A bit of kindness and generosity is every bit as good for the skin as a pot of hypoallergenic lipsums. Ow. Tender? Yeah. OK, that's fine. You can cover yourself up. Gran says it's just a bit of dicky tummy. She's been saying that for the past three months. Ow. <laughs> well, it could be a whole range of things. We'll do some tests tomorrow and then we can start to undick it, OK? Meanwhile, let's give you something to ease that tummy ache. That'll be one gram of paracetamol, all right? Yes, Doctor. Right, that's me packed. No more sunbeds, right? No fear, I've had it with tans. I'm going for the blonde. Wasted look. You what? Go on, scram. Your mother's waiting. Bye. Bye. Actually, I'm looking forward to a bit of peace and quiet. It's May I'm at home. Well, Shona. That's one thing we can guarantee you here. Routine. Happy discipline and a calm, relaxing atmosphere. That's the order of the day and be one. Off! Off! Turn it off! Sorry, what did you say? I said... What is going on? Well, we've come for the auditions. Yes, we've come for the auditions. This is a hospital. It isn't a talent contest. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look. Young, talented, hungry for fame. I'm all three of those. Radio KWA needs you. Apply South Park Hospital Ward B1. See? Is Ruthie coming out? I can't believe you've got the brass neck to show your face around here, Natasha. I have a good mind to ring your parents. We're not on the phone. It's going to take Ruthie months to pay off that broken window. And don't think we don't know that it was you who put her up to it. Is she in her bedroom? Yes, and she's staying there. Now, I don't want you coming round here anymore. Do you understand? Now, go away. Coming out? Tasha, mad. <laughs> Mum will kill you if she sees you. Come on, you can climb out of the bathroom window, but I'll never know where she's gone. Mum says I've got to do my homework. Don't be pathetic.
What do you think you're playing at, Scott? My mum says I'm spending too much time on Radio KWA. They had her up the school because they said I was falling behind. What did I tell you? I always said it was too much for someone of your age to run on their own. Well, that's right. I'm getting help. That's why I'm in. You should have come to me. My sister had a very professional DJ at her wedding, very experienced. Trevor is an old school friend of mine. I could bring him up right now if you wanted. No. Please, Nick, just look at how many people have responded to my ad. I'm bound to find some top new DJ talent among this lot. Mm. We'll see. This way. It was knocked down just before Christmas. Hit and run. Some Christmas presents? I remember. He's been in a coma until a few days ago and he's been drifting and out of consciousness ever since. Does his mum know he's been moved? Let's just say she's not a frequent visitor. She's probably glad to see the back of him for a while. How can you say that? I wouldn't get too dewy-eyed about it, Tony. We had Greg on the ward last year. He fell out of a window burgling the student nurse's flat. <sighs> Thanks for the warning. I'll watch my pockets. OK, let's not be making any judgments here. Nobody deserves this. He could have been killed. And he seems to be making a good recovery. We just need to watch him now. Keep him on top.